Hello everyone and thanks for joining us on another episode of Property Doctor. The show that brings to property owners and property users the easiest remedies to beautify your homes, to maintain your homes, to manage your homes, and to help you save lives, save time, and save money, and even make some more money. And for the professionals, we bring you different tips and ideas, and even creativity in construction. My name is Fumi Amunega Ajayi, also known as your property doctor. You can connect with us on our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube at Property Doctor NG and on Twitter at Property Doc NG. You know, we are talking about managing your homes or maintaining your homes. Today, we want to talk about the reason why your house stinks. Have you ever wondered why, when you open the door to your building or to a room in your home and you just feel awful? because of what you are perceiving. Stay tuned as we'll be discussing the reasons why your building stinks or your home stinks and what you can do to eliminate the stench from the building. We'll be giving you simple tips on how to manage that. I'm coming, I'm coming. If you hand over to government to maintain, the budget, the money, and share it. To, to live in that particular place that the house is, so it's supposed government to will compensate them so that I pay them and relocate them to where they are going and build another house for them. Careful engineering and management to meet human needs. The reason why your house stinks or your building stinks and how to eliminate the stench can actually start from the design stage and some habits that we have. You know, well-ventilated buildings may or may not smell. So it's important that during the design stage, you prepare for proper ventilation so that your house does not stink. In a house, we have many items, furniture, clothing, electrical equipment, old and new things and we keep getting more and getting more and getting more now let's look at those things that can cause your house to stink if you don't take care of them properly looking at these few things can help you identify where the stench is coming from you can leave a comment below if we did not talk about that particular thing you know about that can make your house stink first on my list is the furniture the, f the type of furniture and the each of the furniture you use in your building may affect the air in your home. You know, we have different kinds of furniture. We have leather, we have clothing, those ones made with cloth and so on. So if you use leather furniture, it can help reduce the still air in your building. Like if you use leather sofa, setty chairs and so on. So you can clean them and disinfect them regularly to eliminate grease, dirt and even dust mite and any other that can that can make the house smell that is over time do you know that even new furniture can cause a stench in your building the sofa or the cabinet you just bought might be releasing volatile organic compounds called vocs for short into the air vocs are gases like formaldehyde and toluene that can irritate the nose and the throat they can also cause headaches and dizziness. Some VOCs have been linked to cancer. So it is good to open your windows to ventilate the home or to get the air flowing if you can. And look for low VOC products to limit your exposure in the home. We have a video on how to ventilate your home cheaply so you can look into that video. Now, the next thing we'll be talking about is mattresses. Most times people don't change the mattress except it goes bad or it loses shape or you may need to clean the mattress with warm water and disinfectant or maybe you get a bigger, you need a bigger bed so you get a bigger mattress. That's when you find out that people want to change the mattress. It's always good to use a mattress cover on your mattress before you put your sheets or any other clothing you need on it. This will help protect the mattress. If you have young children who still wee on the bed, I would advise that you use Macintosh or something before the bed sheet. 
and wash your bed sheets maybe after every stain or use diapers for your children dirty mattress can actually cause the house to stink so please do something and clean regularly or have a mattress cover that can be washed regularly this is easier than changing the mattress all the time the next thing i'll be talking about is steel sheets you shed dead skin cells every night while you are asleep other causing bacteria and dust mites leave dead skin cells on your sheets that's why you should wash your sheets that's your best sheets at least every week or as often as possible try to do it more often when the weather is hot or if you sweat a lot at night if not it's going to make your home too smell dirty carpets <laughs> if you can catch dust dirt pet people in your home it can make those things smell you know to ward off odor vacuum at least three times a week with a machine that has a HEPA. HEPA is um, H-E-P-A, that's high efficiency particulate air filter to deep clean the, the carpets. So deep clean your carpet once a year using dry steam cleaning if you don't have anything that makes it dirty often. But if you do, then you need to deep clean more often. Overcrowding can affect the air in your house. If the house is overcrowded, not just with people but with dirty things like dirty plates dirty clothes curtains and dirty furniture it can make the house to stink and if you stay at home most times people feel i'm just at home and they will not take the a shower you need to keep yourself clean so that you can eliminate the stench in the home so clean yourself regularly clean your bodies very well clean your items in the house very well to make your house smell fresh wet towels can also affect the air in the home and can make the home to stink so if you don't wash them often enough they can breed bacteria and smell like um, dirty gym socks a study found that it, there's a type of bacteria called moraxella oslonesis <laughs> i hope i got that right and is the main cause of stinking laundry Wash your towel at least once a week or more if you live somewhere hot and humid and you can spread out your towel on the towel rack to dry instead of hanging on a hook because it will not be properly dried. The washing machine can affect the smell of your home. What I mean is that the front loading washing machine can accumulate some bacteria and can make it smell. Musty smelling mold often grows on this type of washer. It can irritate the eyes the nose, the throat, and skin. It can also lead to allergic reaction and asthma attacks. Leaving the door open between your loads can help molds stay at bay. Regular dry cleaning or drying and cleaning the rubber gasket of the washer can also help. The dishwasher is another place where smell can come out from in the house, the garbage disposal. You know, smelly dishwasher can affect the building. So food particles can be trapped in the filter. So once a week, take the filter out and scrub it, wash it properly with a soft brush on the running water. Wipe up other residue inside the appliance with a sponge and you can use the dishwasher cleaner to get it super clean, very clean. Or you can put a bowl filled with vinegar in the bottom rack of the empty dishwasher and run a cycle that's just run a cycle to make sure that it washes the dishwasher clean this can help your dishwasher stay fresh and clean garbage disposal can be smelly if you have different bacteria living inside the kitchen if you have odor causing bacteria living inside your kitchen sink and drain more can grow from your garbage disposal scrap why because scraps can get into the sink and it can make it smell just remains there so clean at least once a week you can put six ice cubes maybe baking soda lemon slices and a teaspoon of bleach into this disposal so you can add more ice and turn the water on when the grinding stops run cold water for like some seconds maybe 30 seconds and the ice can knock the food particles loose the bleach will kill the bacteria and the lemon slices will help with the odor with that you can eliminate the stench 
from that area. Something we always forget to look about is the fridge. Bacteria that can grow or that can grow in cool temperature can also grow in your fridge, like spoilage bacteria. This type of bacteria makes the food taste and smell bad. It can grow in low temperature. So what you need to do is to wipe up the spills right away. If there's any spill in your fridge, wipe it off right away using hot soapy water to keep your fridge clean. Wipe it off clean. Avoid cleaning products that can make your food taste like chemical because when you're trying to clean the fridge again, some, some kind of chemicals can affect the food in your fridge. You need to go through the fridge at least once a week and remove those things that are expired. And you can place a box of baking soda somewhere under the fridge so that it can help to reduce the odor. Just keep it somewhere so that it can reduce the odor. Generally in the house, you can find out that you have a faint smell that slowly gets stronger and stays for days or weeks and could be a sign that there's an animal that has died maybe inside the attic or on the wall under the deck. It is also possible that they are still alive and you are smelling their pee or their poo. So you need to get rid of animals or birds or rodents or lizards, reptiles, whatever from your building. There are some hidden smell and it can be growing behind the drywall or the wallpaper or the wood paneling or inside the pipes in your building. Sometimes even in the carpeting or the ceiling tiles or inside the duct mold grows where there's a lot of moisture like under the sink so this kind of thing can happen with leaky pipe or poorly ventilated bathroom it is best to call a professional if you think this is the problem so if you find out you're smelling something between the wall or somewhere around it could be mold that is there so you need to clean it get somebody to help you get rid of it and make sure that it is okay the sewer smell in the basement is also very important to take care of you need to put a pit trap in the section of the pipe that normally stays filled with water that and this can block the sewer smell and you know you have this pit trap on the drains in the toilet sink in the wash and basin and if you don't cover it properly you start breathing in hydrogen sulfide that can come in from the sewer and this can irritate your eyes your throat and can cause shortness of breath and lead to fatigue it can lead to dizziness, it can lead to headaches. So pour water in the floor drain or on those pit traps can help you fix this problem. And if it persists, you need to call a plumber. You know, we talked about pets, dealing with the poo and pee or pets is part of living with those animals or those pets that we have in the house. But there are other reasons than odor to be careful about cleanup. There was a study that found out that dog urine isn't sterile or germ-free. It has several types of bacteria. Both cat and dog poo can carry things like roundworm, like hookworm, that can spread to humans. Be sure to clean up accidental discharge, <laughs> like poo and pee from your pets. Scoop poo out of kitty litter every day and wash your hands very well disinfect your hands actually after cleanup the hot water heater is somewhere we need to take care of if your water smells like rotten eggs sulfur bacteria possibly could be the cause it isn't harmful on its own but it can make hydrogen sulfide gas that's when it mixes with water and this can irritate your eyes your nose your throat even at high levels it can also cause nausea it can cause headaches so your hot water heater is likely to be a problem if you smell odor in the house. So when you run your hot water and you smell it, then you know it's coming from the hot water. But if you run the cold water and it's not coming from that area, then you know that it's the hot water heater that is causing that particular smell. So you need to call a plumber to help you manage it properly so that it doesn't affect the building. Another thing we'll talk about is natural gas leak. You know, pure natural gas doesn't have odor. To help you detect a leak, you know, gas companies are the substance that makes it smell like rotten eggs. If you notice the smell near one of your appliances, it is possible that a pilot light has gone out. And if the odor in your home is strong, don't light matches or 
turn on any light switches. Leave the house right away and call your gas company or you can call 911 just to stay safe. It is important that we stay safe. And here in Nigeria, where we use gas cylinders, check the cylinder, look for where the smell is coming from, if you can manage it. Sometimes we cannot manage some of those things. It could be from the valve, it could be from the hose pipe, it could even be from the gas cooker. But try and get help and fix those things immediately so that your house will not smell. It is important to stay safe. We have been talking about how to keep stench away from your home. If you made it this far, thank you for being with us. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this video. And you can leave a comment below. We want to hear from you. We are happy to have you join our family. And you can do this by clicking on the subscribe button. If you click on the like button, you are doing us good. Thank you very much for being with us on this episode of Property Doctor. We hope to see you same time next week for another interesting episode of Property Doctor. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day and bye.